All right, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the peak and pinnacle of mobile games. Now, mobile games back then, not now, were some of the best things ever. You cannot lie to me and say that you guys have never played Temple Run 2 in your life. Temple Run 2 is one of, if not the greatest mobile games, the original Subway Surfers. But you know what? Subway Surfers has now taken over pop, over populated, overtaken the popularity of Temple Run 2. And don't get me wrong, bro. I remember grinding out Temple Run 2 forever, trying to get this and that and that and playing it all the time. It was so good. I saw an arcade machine recently in Canada, and that was awesome. And I, and I miss Temple Run 2 pretty much. But basically, that was one of the examples of one of the peak mobile games, as we are going to be talking about them. Are we going to rank them? Probably not. Well, let me just say that right now. All right? So, how this is going to work is we're also going to later talk about how bad mobile games are coming out more often. And you can tell they're bad. They're like low quality, low effort, low this, low that. But you know, you can tell which ones are bad. Now... The next one we're going to be talking about is classic Angry Birds, or all the Angry Birds games besides Angry Birds 2. Now, don't get me wrong, Angry Birds 2 is not low budget, is not low effort, it is not bad, bad, but I don't really like Angry Birds 2 that much. It doesn't have the same vibe as the classic ones, the Star Wars ones, the space ones, the holiday ones, all of those. Those were peak Angry Birds. And then they got rid of the first one, and then they made it paid for money, and then they brought it back, but still had it paid for money. And th the fall off is crazy, Rovio. In fact, there's going to be a third movie coming out for the Angry Birds, because they have two movies already. Which is actually kind of insane when you think about it, but you know what? Angry Birds is Angry Birds. Why not, man? But, overall, Angry Birds, childhood, cultural classic... Next one, kind of like Angry Birds, Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird is also a cultural classic that was deleted by its creator after he felt, I got people too addicted to their phones while playing this. This guy was making, like, it was a free game, I think? And he was still making, like, uh, millions of dollars, which is actually insane when you think about it. I don't... He was making a lot of money, pretty much. But then he was like, man, this is too addicting, we're not doing this, and then everyone just does Flappy Bird clones. They don't know what... Uh, phones that still have the original on like apparently on like eBay go for like a couple of million like wow but no one buying that realistically no one buying that but it was classic it was a cultural icon next one peak clash of clans i feel like clash of clans <laughs> yeah. had fall off that's probably just me though don't lie to me. like it's probably just me that's all i really think about clash of clans it's just kind of just there i like i like brawl stars now dude Brawl Stars, I like playing that with my friends. In school, it's good. It's it's fun to play with your friends and stuff. You can, like, they're, in fact, collabing with SpongeBob um, more recently. So, yeah, that's good for them. Clash Royale, I remember it was a thing, like, a lot more of a thing back in the beginning of, like, freshman year for me in high school. And then in the fall off, I really did not like it after a while. And then a lot of people just like, yeah, no, we're moving on to Brawl Stars. The fall off has got to go crazy. <laughs> the fall off. I don't really like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale. I like Brawl Stars. But who is also really playing Squad Busters? Realistically, who the heck is playing Squad Busters? I'm not. But the only reason why we kind of played Squad Busters is to try it out and to get the free rewards. But you know what? I don't play Squad Busters. <laughs> I did not think it was good. At all, dude. Like, it's not that good. Now, that's all those games done. We're going to talk about the peak FPS shooter on mobile. It is not Pixel Gun 3D. It is not PUBG Mobile. It is Call of Duty Mobile. Now, Call of Duty Mobile is one of the, apparently one of the best versions of COD, and it's on mobile, and they are making a PC port for it. It's that good. It has guns from all different games. I remember using the MAC-10 all the time, the ICR-1, they had guns from Black, the Black Ops games, the Modern Warfare games, the original and new, 
and all the games they have advanced well they don't really have advanced warfare stuff they have like a they have a couple of things i don't know but the point is they also have better skins that look than the game in the game that are for free that you would normally have to pay 20 bucks for on the uh, new on the console thing not only that the game is free to play you can get good free cosmetics you can get good free skins but the one thing that's bad about it it still has like the gambling system where it's like oh yeah spin the wheel man spin the wheel you're gonna get it you're gonna get it you basically aren't it's kind of just like that that's what i kind of think about cod mobile it's one of the best fps shooters i just don't like the gambling that's it now the next mobile game that i want to talk about don't get me wrong minecraft is a good game but minecraft is a little bit overrated well, why are you pulling me? I'm right. and the minecraft youtube scene is dying ah. because of recent events and i like minecraft minecraft i played it a lot as a kid like i would just build random houses made out of clay diamond or wood and sometimes i'd try survival and then never finish it i've never beaten the game at all never beaten minecraft i only liked having fun with it and then i keep on getting it recently and then i'd be like oh yeah i get mods on pocket edition that's how you know i'm crazy like that get mod and i'd literally be like yeah i got i got weapons on pocket edition and they're like, how did you get that? And I'm like, I'm not telling you. <laughs> it's funny. But Minecraft overall is a cultural classic, but it's still a little bit overrated. It's getting a movie. It's a good game. It is one of the, it is, if not, I think the most selling game ever. It's, but the next game we are going to talk about is, we're going to talk about Subway Surfers. Now, Subway Surfers, like I said earlier, you know, just a newer and a better different version of Temple Run 2, right? Yeah, pretty much. Except it's also using Brain Rot. And I made a video on Brain Rot. You should go watch that video. I put a lot of effort into that. It helped me very much. But literally, it's just like, it was good too at the time. I would still play it a bit. But Temple Run 2 was mainly my thing as a kid, and then as like a little bit more recently, Subway Surfers was a bit of my thing, and then I got rid of it. So, yeah. But now we're going to get to the part where it's like, mobile games are really just gone like downhill from here. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. The classic ones are still sometimes getting updates, or they're still there. But like, the newer games have been like a lot worse. And I mean a lot worse. Like, dude these games are actually horrible and they aren't entertaining they aren't funny they aren't good they're just ridiculous they're just like this basic tiktok algorithm games pretty much and that's it there are some gems throughout all the trash but overall it's not that good leading to the conclusion of this video guys if you guys want to see more stuff like this, like and subscribe, please. And if you guys have a video idea you want me to do, leave a comment down below. Thank you very much. Bye.